Like you, I feel terribly for Sophie Gregoire Trudeau. When I read that she was struggling to do all the things she wants to do in a day, I immediately drove straight to church. I drove as fast as I could in my late model F-150 and thought of how poor Sophie has to drive around in that million dollar convertible, ruining her beautiful hair. When I got to church, I blew out all the candles that were lit by the faithful for lost loved ones, for the victims of genocide at the hands of ISIS, and for the displaced people at Fort Mac. I relit all those candles for Sophie. I needed a barbecue lighter, but I got it done. I mean, how could I not? Her suffering is just unimaginable. Sophie needs our prayers the most. Also our money, she needs our money too. She said, I need a team to help me serve people. Have you ever heard anything more horrifying my goodness, I can't bear to hear such human suffering. This beautiful soul like Mother Teresa and Princess Diana wrapped up in an expensive designer gown. She needs our help. She needs a team of people, a team that is beyond the two nannies, a chef, a housekeeper, and a security team. Oh, and the mother and the mother-in-law that also frequently travel with her family. Sophie's life is demanding. All that loaned designer jewelry isn't going to wear itself. Am I right, working moms? You know, working moms who go to work with a half a face of makeup because you ran out of time to get ready before you raced off to work? Your job in the rat race and daily commute is just a cakewalk compared to Sophie's job of posting professional pictures of herself on Instagram. Surely you can spare a few more bucks to get Sophie some more help. Your kids don't need new soccer cleats that badly, do they? And speaking of soccer, you moms must be so glad Sophie's dashing husband took away your child fitness tax credit. You must feel good paying more so that Sophie can do less. Stay at home moms, aren't you glad Sophie's fancy husband took away your income splitting? It's better spent on Sophie recuperating at expensive resorts in Newfoundland that cost $2,000 per night. Knowing that you bring such comfort to Sophie when you're up half the night with a crying baby, that's got to feel good. And who am I to think I shouldn't be helping ease Sophie's pain? Wolfing down a subway sub in my truck between racing from story to story so that I can get everything done so I can be at home before my kids get off the school bus is nothing compared to the trials of St. Sophie of Chatelaine. Have you ever tried to peel a $20 boutique cupcake when on vacation with a low-level Canadian rock star? You need at least two people to help peel those things. I know some of you are wondering, how do I do it all? Work, three kids, husband away in the oil patch? Well, first off, I do it for Sophie. She's such an inspiration how she's busying herself up with her no official duties. Like Sophie, I couldn't do it all alone. I have a really great mother-in-law who, to the best of my knowledge, never ran around with the Rolling Stones. And I also have a personal assistant that helps me keep track of everything I do and things I need to be doing. Oh, and I have a personal chef. I found it at a garage sale for five bucks. I like to be frugal. Every penny I save is one that Sophie deserves to spend on herself. So you guys, we really need to rally around Sophie. She needs a team to help her serve us. She needs to serve people. We need to plan a benefit concert to raise money for her, like Farm Aid or Live Aid. We can call it Aid Aid and hire Sophie another aid. Some or maybe not. Fight. Actually, she probably might want to sing at that thing. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.